Every image you see, image, not photo, every single one of them, all of those are computer generated images. They are not photos. Everyone you see on Google is a CGI image. It is not a photo. Go to the nearest telescope shop, buy a decent telescope for about $400 and take a look by yourself. The only difference between what you will see and what there is on Google is the resolution, because NASA have much, much bigger and better quality telescopes, some of them in space. You know, I really don't like you at all, round thinker. You seem like a rotten person, and you're a blatant liar. You say that if someone has a decent telescope, the only difference from what they would see and what there is on Google is the resolution because NASA has much, much bigger and better quality telescopes with some of them even in space. Do you mean better resolution like your lying friend Dan is showing in this picture? Dan is claiming that this is a real photo of Mars likely taken by the Viking Orbiter 1. But these next two pics show the exact same picture of Mars and they are both artist renderings. I hate to keep bringing that up, Dan, but you keep running your mouth. This is all we get from NASA is artist renderings and computer generated crap, and you guys know that. Oh, by the way, you dumbasses, as far as bigger and more quality telescopes being in space, that's bullshit. Space doesn't exist. It's nothing but science fiction coming from NASA. Here's Mercury. This is coming from the European Space Agency. As you can see, this is absolute bullshit. Here's Venus. This is some more bullshit coming from NASA. This is not real. It's not real at all. And here's the Earth. This is nothing but NASA computer generated images. This is just another blue marble like NASA shows us year after year. Here's Mars. This is Simon Dan's favorite planet. He likes to say that artist renderings and computer generated images of Mars are real photos. Here's Jupiter. I'm sure Simon Dan and Round Thinker want you to believe this is real, but you can look at this and tell it's totally fake. I mean, this is absolute garbage. And speaking of garbage, look at this fucking shit. This is terrible. I mean, this is just even the most dedicated globe clown surely would not believe that this stuff is real here. This is just junk. Then you got Neptune. This looks like a damn cartoon. This is just pathetic is what it is. And I can tell you this. These things here that NASA calls planets, they're not planets at all. These are wandering stars. They're lights in the sky. They're not planets. And these so-called planets and the other stars and all, none of them are as far away as NASA tells you. They're lying about that. They're lying about that as well. Here's some more pathetic CGI of Pluto. Uh, here in a few seconds, I'm going to play you a video clip of Robert Simmon, who works for NASA. He's the guy who made the blue marble back in 2002 that was the default picture on the iPhones. And what he does, he gets composites, which are strips of data from NASA, and he puts them together in an image. Once he finishes with the image, he takes that image and he photoshops it into the picture that you see. In 2002, Blue Marble 2.0, NASA's Rob Simmon made this. And it had wide appeal too. For example, it ended up as the default background on the iPhone. I didn't even know until I bought an iPhone um, and turned it on and kind of did a little happy dance. 
Simmons job is It's primarily taking data and making pictures out of it. That's what this is. A composite of data sets from several different instruments translated into a picture. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. Then there was another layer to sort of simulate the atmosphere. And then there's this little bright spot. It's called the specular highlight. So it's the reflection of sunlight off of water. Those are the pieces, but you can't just slap them all together. It just didn't look realistic. It looks kind of flat, or the clouds are sort of too see-through. So I just take Command-Z a lot. There's artistry to creating the world. It, what I imagine it to be. Bye.